Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Excuse me. Damn it! Okay, we're just gonna forget that. I'm going to show you guys how to make Unicorn's Blood, which is a spooky drink inspired by the infamous Harry Potter series. I found this on like a blog online. I will post the information down below. But I'm super excited to try it because it's like October, so spookiness is here. <laughs> but anywho, I've never made this drink before. I'm super excited. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not much of a planner, so it's it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a treat. <laughs> because Halloween, that was really dumb. Anyways, you're gonna need some peach vodka. I do like peach vodka. I never really had it, but I like peaches. I like peach, so I feel like I would like it. Anyways, we need gold luster dust. It throws me off because it's luster duster. Well, no, it's not. I think that it's luster duster. <laughs> I'll stop talking. You need this because you're gonna make the shimmery, shimmery, shimmery drink. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. Also gonna need some raspberries because we're gonna puree it and put it into a drink. It also calls, calls for a chilled martini glass. I don't have a martini glass. It's a wine glass, but honestly, they're both clear. They both hold alcohol and I, I don't see the problem. Anywho, we're gonna start by making our puree. It calls for six ounces, but I'm just making one drink so I don't Feel like that's an appropriate like portion for one person we're just gonna pour them in i don't know i guess how much puree this would make you can just like mush it together it says the recipe said that i read i think you're supposed to use like a food a food processor or i don't know how else you puree <laughs> okay anyways it's looking great. It says uh, you remove the seeds. I don't mind seeds. I think that it might look really cool because I feel like it's going to give an effect that um, Unicorn's Blood has like things in it, like maggots. That's really gross to think about actually. Okay, so you puree it. I'm just really just mushing it together as you can see. It's not really like, I don't know. It's not that great. But honestly, it's really giving me blood vibes. So it also says to add just a little bit, I think a tablespoon, a teaspoon, whichever one is smaller. A teaspoon, like a teacup. Woo! And we're just gonna pop it in here and just add just a little bit, just a titch. And it's supposed to give some like, I think that's a titch. Uh, it's supposed to give it like a thickness, I guess. I don't know. It's really supposed to be like raspberry icing. Um, that did nothing. Just a little bit more. <laughs> okay. If not, we can always add more raspberries, but I don't think it's appropriate because it's just for one drink. <laughs> hey, this is looking like some really good puree. And it says add the powdered sugar to taste. I... Okay. Yay. Okay, I will say it added sweetness. That must make sense. Must make sense. I'm just gonna like add one more raspberry. Just like all, like a titch more of powdered sugar. This is really going well. You guys, I'm actually really feeling good about this. And it's like only the beginning. Let me just like mush that guy. Gotta be careful not to spill my shirt. Awesome. Puree, love it. It says like add water if you need it to. I don't know if it looks like too thick. So I have some water. I'm really just being random. And I also feel like there's a seed stuck in my teeth. Talk about being self-conscious. Okay. All right, y'all, welcome back. So that stuff is currently chilling. I'm gonna show you how to pretty much make the unicorn's blood. Like the sparkly part. So you're gonna take your peach vodka, 
Yeah, it was already opened because I messed up. It doesn't matter how. But you're gonna pour what you think is an appropriate amount for your martini glass or wine glass. Honestly, it's all the same. It, it is. So that's cool. That's probably not enough. Oh, okay. You're gonna take your gold luster dust, which I just found this on Amazon. It's actually kind of expensive for what you get. So we'll try to be pretty, like pretty frugal. You're just gonna tap it in, tap, tap, tap. Oh, it always looks like a lot, but honestly, I'm here for it. Okay, so you're gonna stir that around. And you're just gonna see how pretty it gets. Yeah, look at that unicorn magic. I feel like that's like pretty good to like see. Really shiny. And I guess you're supposed to like let this chill. So we have to do that. So I'll be back. All right, so we got our frosted martini glass, our unicorn blood. So let's see. Okay, so it's like kind of frozen, but honestly, I'm not worried about it. So we're just gonna pour that in here. Ooh, spooky. It's really frozen. Maybe like too long. So maybe like put it in there for like half the time. So probably like, a, like a half an hour, if that. Your puree, perfect. Let's just like do some more. Cause I went to all that hard work to puree it. Awesome. You're gonna take your chilled vodka, which is the stuff that I, I messed up earlier with. We're gonna pour it over top, just like that. Okay, okay, I think it's kind of looking like the picture. Now we have dry ice. I've never used dry ice before. I made that very clear when I bought it. Um, so let me just get some tongs. So now we're gonna get like the really cool part. And like, this is optional, you guys, but like, who? Ooh, it was so cool that it made it shake. I guess I don't know how you're supposed to get it in here. Ooh. Like, <laughs> I can't even get it because it's so cold. And you're supposed to drink this? Oh! Ugh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys. So, this is um, unicorn blood. What do you think? What do you think? Beautiful, if I have ever seen it. Now you're probably like, Austin, you should drink it. <laughs> well, it actually turned out better than I thought it was going to, so that's super cool. I really don't know if you should drink it with the... If that isn't Harry Potter or what... Okay, I'll drink it, I just, I'll figure it. Never trust a sober cook. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> Calm down. <Woo! coughs> I breathed it in. Okay. Ugh. That's strong. Anyways, oh wow. Okay. Thank you so much for joining in to make me watch, or to make you, to watch me make Unicorn's Blood. There are tons of other drinks that I came across in the blog. There's um, Voldemort, like the Snape drink, the Goblet of Fire. Um, but this one sounded honestly like really cool. And I like peach, I said. So join me next time and you guys have a wonderful time and have a spooky Halloween. Thank you.